We are in Geneva waiting for our flight to Helsinki. Helsinki, Norway, it's got a long drive. Arrived here in Tamok after two days of traveling from Helsinki all the way up here into Norway. It's been a hell of a drive, but stoked to get here and check the place out. We're here parked out the front of Tamok Lodge and the terrain looks pretty awesome. There's a lot of like really fun little pipes to ride. A um, lot, lot of hiking involved to get to all the terrain. So it's all gonna be on foot, but you gotta earn your turn. So it should be a really fun time. We've got one of the snowboards. No bindings on this thing, so it's all, it's kind of like surfing on snow. Really fun feeling. Sometimes it's just good to like try to not focus on uh, getting the newer tricks or all that and just like forget about it and take some runs with your friend, relax and, and just have fun with it and play. It's good, man. Catches up on me Got my head in my hands Don't know which way to go Yes, that life's too slow Yes, that life's too slow This past 10 years have like been all in snowboarding all the time so Basically, even when I'm not snowboarding now, it's like always in the back of the head. And I mean, that's, that's what I do and what, what I want to do for as long as I can. I just want every time I'm out there in the mountains trying to do stuff I haven't done before, improve every time and share this moment with the people I'm with and yeah, that's what I'm looking for and what makes me the most happy. You make my heart race like an El Dorado You're poking holes in my bravado with a heart inside it Pull me down, I don't want to fight it Keep me falling in slow motion I want to sink like a stone In your ocean You wear that dress like you really mean it Throw me, roll me, baby Keep me falling in slow motion I wanna sink like a stone Stone in your ocean I said no, 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 no I wanna sink like a stone in your ocean Like a stone in your ocean We have 
have a quarter pipe. Is that poppy enough for you? We've all had a few, haven't we? This guy had a few too many. My name's Jace Robinson. I'm 25 years old. And I'm a professional surfer from the UK. Please First, first time I went on snowboarding. First time I see snow. Indonesia, man. <laughs> How's it going, man? What's going on? We're just driving through some really snowy mountains in Norway. Fucking hell. Why are you phoning me, you muppet? Because <laughs> we miss you! <laughs> Driving down through the fjords and coming to the ocean, it's just these huge mountains just popping up out of, just straight out of from the sea, and it's like... It's so beautiful, and uh, I definitely want to go back there again. We just met up with the surfers, Didi and Jace, trying to find some surf. Wave hunting. So far where we are now, uh, we haven't found any waves yet. We are looking for some place to snowboard. Get the surfers to snowboard a little bit. They seem stoked. We've got surfboards, we've got mountains. Oh, look at that. What? <laughs> Up there, the boys just had a sick powder run, and you know, we're here. It's a mental opportunity to come and do it with the, the pro snowboarder guys from Rip Curl. So, yeah, amping to get up there and fly down as fast as I can. All right, ready? So, after um, searching this place and discovering, the surfing is always really hard to score waves, and you're always going up against the elements, so. Yeah, it's not an unsuccessful mission, it's just one of those that we, we're a little bit unlucky with the swell. Ooh, what you watching there, mate? Just watching some of the footy from the Rippy Chicks riding in Cali. Sweet. I wish I could say this is a love song. C'est le truc que tu vois bouger en live. Yeah man, so exciting. Just wanna go skiing now. <laughs> Premier trip en Alaska. J'attends ça depuis un petit moment et euh, bah, je suis super content d'être ici. The waiting game this year has been horrible. We've been waiting so much and the weather is bad. It's raining, windy all day long, every day. 
you get so depressed after a while. All the days get mixed together. You don't even know what day. You get a bit crazy here sometimes if you spend too much time and being unlucky with the weather. En arrivant ici, ça a été quand même un sacré challenge. En début de saison, j'ai eu un, une grosse avalanche, je suis tombé dans les rochers, j'ai cru que j'allais y passer. If you come to Alaska, it's to ride some spine, you know, what you don't have in Europe. And that's what you see in all the videos since you're a kid, and that's what you make your dream, you know. And it's the best feeling ever, man, to ride those spines. First day of real bluebirds. The seven days of bad down days. The second day, first thing in the morning, we just end up in front of this massive, so sick looking face called the uh, hotel room. The weather was perfect, the snow conditions were perfect, the spines looked insane. So it was fucking scary, but we just had to do it. And at some point I just decided like, okay, let's fucking go for it. Holy shit. Scariest line ever.
j'aurais pas pensé un jour euh, me retrouver en haut d'une montagne comme ça. C'était euh, hallucinant. Euh, tout, devient, enfin, ouais, tout devient irréel, mais quand tu t'engages dans la ligne, bah, tu es focus et euh, je pense que tu n'es plus toi-même. Tu, tu développes un, un genre de super pouvoir qui fait que c'est toi et la montagne. C'est juste incroyable d'être ici, de pouvoir skier ce genre de ligne, de rentrer avec le, le sourire à la maison. Quand t'arrives en bas, tu relâches quelque chose qui est, qui est fort et, et, et ouais, c'est marquant quand ça marque et ça, et ça fait du bien. I think being able to just stay involved and get to work with all kinds of different people, from people that I can teach to people that I can learn from, you know, and, and just getting to stay on my snowboard, I think, is the main thing for me. Snowboarding has been a huge part of my life. It's taken me to places that I would never have seen in a million years. So I'm super thankful and grateful for what it's brought into my life. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna just keep going as long as I can. Something make you find everything. Something get you to this place to learn. The atmosphere here is really good. We really get along. We have a Swiss, a skier, and another French snowboarder. My first trip here, I knew I'd be coming back every spring, and I, I see that, that same kind of look in their eyes. You know, I feel like these guys are for sure coming back. 